Hey, uh, it's Sohail Zindani here and uh, thank you all of those who will join and who have already joined in the process. Um, I just signed in a bit earlier, so it's it's good that uh, if you have promised 11, you are bingo there at 11 o'clock. So thank you those who have just joined in. Uh, this is a very special thing for me. I'm going to rant here. <laughs> I'm going to share my perspectives. and. Uh, these perspectives are may not be very sweet. These perspectives may not be very light. These perspectives may not be as you would have wished or you would have liked. Uh, but if if it comes in what you like and how you prefer, I think that's a bingo. Uh, I see some amazing people signing in. So hello to everyone. I'm excited to have you here. Um, these are the rents that I'm going to do for next... Uh, I don't know, 13, yeah, there are 13 rents that are planned. Uh, initially Why don't you take feedback from people what they want to listen? Yeah, sure. And for that, I do other sessions. These are ranks. And so I've kept the time also at 11 o'clock. Not everyone is willing to stay up till that time for listening to somebody. Uh, so those who will be here, I am so proud to say that these are people who genuinely care. These are people who are willing to listen to a few uncomfortable thoughts and perhaps give it a shot. So today, um, I'm going to talk about building something better. And this is going to be fun. But before I get into that, it's it's going to be a rapid fire. I, I'll hardly take another 10, 15 minutes. I'll take a few questions and bye. Um, the idea is that in this segment, I'll talk about how we build something bigger, something better than what we are. And for doing that, I will take your comments and I will take your questions. Let me just be very rude over here in saying that question starts with what, how, why, when, where. Uh, so if you're writing a question, please don't start with a comment language. So it's easier for me to read and to respond to as many amazing people as I can. So let's begin. Now, today we are talking about building something better. And I'm going to do it in seven points. Seven points, and it will be great if you can just take a note somewhere on your laptop, on, uh, on a computer, on a paper, or anything. But these are those points on which we can have a bit more of conversation. But as I said, up speed thodi zyada hogi because these are rents. These are not that I'm trying to convince anybody. This is something that I genuinely believe in something that I practice and something that I wish others can join me for. Um, first, and this I think is very interesting, there is nothing such as being lucky. If you are waiting that someone will come and pick you, keep waiting. Let me tell you, nobody will come to pick you. It's about how you pick yourself. इस वक्त दुनिया में कोई ऐसी यूनिवर्सिटी नहीं है जो इस इंतजार में बैठी है कि कब आपको वक्त मिले और आपको वो ऑनररी डॉक्टरेट की डिग्री दे ना आपके लिए वेट कर रही है ना मेरे लिए वेट कर रही है सो so ये जो कांसेप्ट है कि इफ आई एम लकी आई एम गोना डू एंड आई इट विल हैपन टू मी नथिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट इज एवर गोना हैपन टू यू द ओनली वे टू बिल्ड एनीथिंग बिगर एनीथिंग बेटर एनीथिंग वर्थ टॉकिंग अबाउट यू नीड टू गेट योर एस ऑफ एंड डू समथिंग अबाउट इट that's the only damn sure way that I know. So the first thing is nobody is lucky. We all have to get up. And today, by the way, there are a lot of people expecting that we're going to talk in context to Corona. I have forgotten about it. I'm looking at so many opportunities around me. So I hope you stick with these points that I'm taking up. So the first one is nobody is damn lucky. The idea is get your ass off and do something about it. What you're going to do about it. The second is, and I think this is something that I am solidly sold to, be generous and be interesting. Everything that I do, every assignment that I take, every Facebook live video I do, there are only two things up in my mind. How I can be interesting so that those people who accidentally even come to the screen stay with me. How to be interesting and how to be generous. How to share the best of what I can share. and. When I say generous, I'm not talking about being free. Let me give you an example and try to differentiate. If a supermart, say Imtia supermart, decides to be free, that's a great idea, but it can serve only for a day. And they're gone. They're gone. They're out of the picture. So, here, generous, free, 
free is useless generous is incredible so what imtiaz can be generous with imtiaz can be generous with making sure that while you come there your health measures are well taken care of while you navigate in the shop you are well taken care of that's generosity so anything you do two things generous and very importantly being interesting because boring is ghatiya and i tell you selfish is ridiculous so that's the second point being generous and very importantly being interesting the third is faster is useless braver is better unfortunately the way we have been trained all over these years particularly in the work life hamara sara dimag jo chala hai na sara dimag wo fast efficiency fast efficiency fast efficiency the idea around innovation has simply crippled out why because we are not willing to try something for which we need to show bravery bravery is not rewarded speed is rewarded efficiency is rewarded and hence whenever we are stuck with surprise we are caught by surprise we are nowhere why because once we don't have anything speed doesn't matter but if you are brave enough to try new thing if you are brave enough to be vulnerable if you are brave enough to go wrong if you are brave enough to be ridiculed i'm telling you there is so much of possibility for you lying way ahead of you the third fourth which i think is very very important for me and this is something i wish i don't get emotional talking about it and i think this is extremely powerful your life is important right uh, we always say it's a very precious gift of allah it's a very precious gift of allah here's my question to you what you would like to invest your life in i wish this question is asked at our schools i wish this question is asked at our homes i wish this question is asked at our work i wish this question is asked literally at every point of our interaction unfortunately what we are asking what do you want to be what do you want to achieve what do you want to, what a career you want to get into kya yaar ye kya kin sawalat pe hum lag gaye ये जितने सवाल आते हैं इनका इंपैक्ट आपने देखा है कितना मिनिमल है माय क्वेश्चन इज इफ योर लाइफ इज सो प्रेशियस वेर वुड यू लाइक टू इन्वेस्ट योर लाइफ इन इज इन दैट अ क्वेश्चन दैट्स वर्थ हैविंग इज इन दैट अ क्वेश्चन वर्थ सेलिब्रेटिंग इज इन दैट अ क्वेश्चन वर्थ वर्थ पॉन्डरिंग अपॉन what is this if if this life is so precious what are you investing your life into abhi hum log ghar pe baithe hue hain to humko lag raha hai what are we doing why because we have never taken care of this life and i'm going to do a rent i'm going to do a separate rent a separate episode on perspective when i'll talk about me and my we have simply confused life with its accessories we have simply confused life with all the tools and the things that comes with it and i think this is very important let me tell you uh, bahut sare logon ki jobs gayi hain bahut sare logon ke upar challenge hai main aapko ek baat batau just to predict future every job and listen to me very carefully every job that can be documented and that can be explained will be replaced soon every job i repeat if that can be documented or can be explained will be replaced soon AI is going to be your number one competitor. What you gonna do about it? If your life is all about your next job, if you it's all about your next assignment, if it's all about your next project, if it's not about getting better than somebody or ahead of somebody, I think that's a life wasted, like anything. Then you then we don't deserve to call this life precious. If your life is precious, the only question that you must ask yourself is what you gonna invest your life doing at that. that's a very important step and i think this is something that empowers us empowers us not to make horribly cheap choices with our life the fifth point is identify a problem that needs to be solved now i know i'm going to hurt a lot of people listening to me let me tell you passion is bullshit yes you heard me right passion is bullshit what passion do you think qaid e azam mohammad ali jinnah was passionate about getting a country are you really sure about it i can tell you he was passionate about his law practice nelson mandela was passionate about boxing 
Dr. Bari would have been passionate about his surgery of whatever, whatever he got qualified into. It's not about passion. People who have changed the world are not the ones who are pursuing their passion. Trust me for that. Trust me. These were the people who identified a problem that was to be solved and they solved it. That's what great people do. Identify a damn problem and look at the opportunity you have around you. jobs Can we change the question? Can we say problems? No, 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 no. There are a lot of problems. What are the problems you strongly feel about? And what is a problem that you wish to solve? Um, many years back, many years back, in the northern areas of Pakistan, there was a problem. The problem was that people used to live in such far-flung spots that they could not get water. The excess of water was, was, was a kind of an extreme privilege. The Aga Khan Rural Support Program came in and they identified the problem. And after identifying the problem, they were not busy finding donors. They were busy finding ways how we can solve the problem. And once they did it, they made the space a better place to live. That's what champions do. That's what winners do. That's exactly what those people do who change the world. Don't wait for the right job to come your way. Let me confirm you, there is no right job. It's just a job that you make it right. And I think this is very, very, very important. The sixth area which I would like you to think about is don't try to avoid criticism. I think that's very important. Focus on the impact that you're bringing. I think this criticism business must go. Um, people would not leave it. At least you should leave it. Unfortunately, we have so much energy. Itni energy. Uh, apne, apne, uh, problems ko, apne complications jin, jin solve karne ki koshish kar rahe. Uske oopar hoti bhi criticism ko control karne ke liye nikal dete. Uska aadha energy, agar hum impact create karne mein laga hai, aap soche to sahi hum kya achieve karenge. I think this is very important to understand. Hamara dhyan ka lagate hai. Dekhe, life hai kya? Life do cheez hai. Time hai aur energy hai. Iske lawa life kuch nahi hai. ये जो हम कह रहे हैं ना वक्त गुजर रहा है वक्त नहीं गुजर रहा आपकी जिंदगी गुजर रही है मेरी जिंदगी गुजर रही है वी आर वी आर लाइफ इज कंज्यूमिंग सो लाइफ में दो ही चीजें हैं टाइम और एनर्जी टाइम सबको एक जितना मिला है सबके पास है मेरा एक सेकंड गुजरा है आपका भी एक सेकंड गुजरेगा ये नहीं होगा कि मेरा एक सेकंड गुजरा आपका चार सेकंड गुजर गया नहीं सो फिर लाइफ में फर्क कहां आता है आप अपनी लाइफ की एनर्जी का स्पेंड करते हो और मैं अपनी लाइफ की एनर्जी का स्पेंड करता हूं और डॉक्टर बारी अपनी लाइफ की एनर्जी का स्पेंड करते हैं और वो लोग जिन्होंने टीसीएफ की बुनियाद रखी वो अपनी एनर्जी का स्पेंड करते हैं दिस इज ऑल द एनर्जी बिजनेस वेयर यू वांट टू पुट योर एनर्जी आर यू पुटिंग योर एनर्जी ऑन द क्रिटिसिज्म दैट यू आर गेटिंग और आर यू पुटिंग योर एनर्जी ऑन द इंपैक्ट दैट यू आर क्रिएटिंग थिंक अबाउट इट एंड द लास्ट पॉइंट द सेवेंथ पॉइंट व्हिच आई एम एब्सोल्युटली पैशनेट अबाउट इज be willing to fail <laughs> that's my favorite be willing to fail you know what when you are willing to fail you are fearless you are so good you're amazing you love vulnerability when i wrote this post today uh, that i'm going to do these rants and series of perspectives you know what i said i said it's going to be live and live is so much fun because it can go wrong it's such an amazing possibility when things can go wrong isn't it amazing it what okay if you fail what does that mean when you fail it means that you tried yes have you ever seen somebody who who, ne, who who never tried and failed it's just not possible it's just not only winners fail losers don't even try they don't even try my idea is why are we not excited about fail the moment we accept failure being one of the possible outcomes imagine the speed imagine the bravery we get out of it and i think this is something which is very important unfortunately hum kyun fail hona bhul jate hain because all our school lives all our family lives are spent upon teaching us to be safe and obedient compliance has somehow become a religion you comply to what is being told you know a better child is somebody who complies a better child is somebody who plays safe a better child is somebody who is obedient show me this child if he has dented any part of the world 
show me so it's not about compliance it's not about obedience it's not about playing safe because all of it leads to convenience and convenience never creates charisma convenience never creates amazing things that are better than you that are bigger than you that are bolder than you and that live beyond you which are abundant so i think this is important so thank you so much these were the seven things uh, which i wanted to talk about and i really really hope that these seven points you have taken a note of it i'm going to wait for another 1 minute or so if there are any questions i would love to take by the way by the way i'm going to post this video once this video is done it will definitely come on my facebook but i'm also going to post it on my um on my youtube account but i think you people are amazing i think you people are brilliant you people took time out even that's a step but i think be generous i would like to just conclude my this talk on one one simple thought and what is that be generous be interesting that's important you know interesting is amazing if you're not interesting nobody gives a shit about what you're doing that's important but i think very important it is to be generous be generous with your time be generous with your knowledge be generous with your money be generous with your ideas be generous in your approach towards life you know why because life is there is sufficient for all of us there is enough for all of us all of us but i'm telling you there is never enough for you if you just think about you there's never enough for you that's how the nature of life is this is a time that one has to be uh, sumera over here ask me uh what motivates you death if i have to because this is rent and i can't take a lot of time in answering death is my ultimate motivator isn't it amazing that you're going to die one day isn't it amazing it's isn't it one of the greatest gift of allah that you're going to die one day how how comforting it is to know that you're going to die but how challenging it is that now that you're going to die can we build something bigger something more bolder something better than ourselves that we can leave to the world so thank you all for listening um, I, i okay 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 i'm going to wait i'm going to wait tala says what what is passion i really don't know tala i really don't know if you think uh, making spice or getting work is passion that's one of your thoughts but think about it there was a problem that you identified a problem was that there is a lady that you know who's so brilliant but who's wasting her talent and you connected to that problem that's what i call identify a problem and build solution around it that's how you build something interesting how to be interesting for others for me i can be amazing am i the same for others imtiaz do you really care about that i'm saying be interesting how you be interesting you be interesting by experimenting with different things you be interesting by at least appreciating criticism you be interested you interesting by at least laughing it off you don't need to be interesting by reading all the top books in the world only then you can i think that's a bogus idea noshin says how do you make yourself so interesting any tips <laughs> am i interesting i just try to be you know what's the most interesting thing the most interesting thing is authentic you i've never tried to speak like anybody and i think isn't that cool isn't that sexy i think that's important be yourself that's important allah has created a masterpiece enjoy that brilliant but be generous that's my word the only way if you want to build anything bigger if you want to make anything bigger and better than yourself the one thing that you need to keep in mind is be generous god bless you all for listening you people are simply amazing allah is